Hello, Seattle. My name is Teacher Tina, and I'm a preschool teacher at Dearborn Park International School. Ah, go Dragons! Woohoo! Good to see you guys. I'm also a coach and coordinator for Girls on the Run, which has also been canceled for this season, and I'm very sad about that. Um, but I know that uh, we'll be back together soon. Uh, all of us miss all of you, and we can't wait for this to be over too. I am here today to uh, do a couple of things with you, and then I'm gonna turn it over to a good friend of mine, uh, Miss Day from Arbor Heights Elementary. And so uh, I'm gonna start today with a game. So first, we're going to play a game. I'm gonna teach you a new game to play at home. Second, I'm going to read a story with you. And then third, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Day, and she's going to do a math move with you. And then fourth, Miss Day is also going to do a math talk with you. So, are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to start with the game. And this game is called Hidden Pennies, okay? So bear with me because I'm at home and don't have a ton of surfaces for recording on, but I'm going to use the back of the book that we're reading, okay? And then I've got some coins from a counting collection that I made. So let's see what we do here. I'm going to count out some coins like this. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm going to cover up this many. How many coins are under my hand? Let's see if you guessed right. One, two, three. If you guessed three, give yourself a thumbs up, a pat on the back, a pat on the hand. You can't see my back right now. But let's play again, okay? You ready? I'm going to get out one more penny this time. So let's count how many pennies we have to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight pennies here on my book and I'm gonna cover some of them up. Are you ready? How many pennies did I cover up? Let's see if we can figure there's this out. There's three here. One, two, three. And I know that I put out eight. So I'm going to put three fingers up. Oh. <laughs> so there's three here. We know that there were eight. So let's think about eight. And if we count down by three, maybe we can find out how many there are left. Let's start together, ready? So we're gonna start with eight, seven, six, five. Do you think that there might be five pennies under my hand? Let's check it out, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness! That worked. All right, let's try it again. Ready? I'm going to take away a couple here. Maybe that one was too hard. Let's try an easier one. Let's see. How many pennies do I have now? Some of you might have subitized which means that you saw a shape here and you knew that there's five pennies in that shape. Some of you might still need to count them with me. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, 
five, right? There's five pennies there. Oh, here, let me do it this way. <laughs> There's five pennies there. I'm going to cover some of them up and we'll see if you can guess how many I've covered up. Are you ready? <gasps> Let's think about how we did it when there were eight. We started with five. Let, let, <laughs> actually, we started with eight, didn't we? So let's start with five this time because we know that there are five all together. So we're going to start with five and count down by two. So we're going to count five, four, three. Do you think there might be three under my hand? Let's see. One, two, three. Ta-da! This is kind of a tricky game, isn't it? Should we try for a harder one? You wanna try for a harder one? You think? Okay, let's try for a harder one and then we can do another easy one. Okay, first let's try for a harder one. I'm gonna put out more pennies. You ready? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Whoa. Whoa, you guys. Whoa. Whoa. There's 10 pennies here. Let's, let's count again just to be sure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, yes, I'm sure that there's 10. Now, I'm going to cover some of these up. How many did I cover up? Wait, did you say five? How did you know I covered, oh. <laughs> How did you know I covered up five? Well, let's try the trick I uh, we did before. So I started with 10 and let's count down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Let's see if you're right. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. All right. I'm going to try it a different way. So I'm going to keep it at 10. We're keeping it at 10. Okay. So there's still 10 pennies. I didn't take any away. They're all still here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, this makes me think of um, Mr. Watan's game that he played with the, the drawing the boxes, dots and boxes yesterday. I saw that and he made three, three and three so that you could draw the lines between. Anyways, okay, so we have 10 pennies. I'm gonna cover some of them up. How many do you think I'm covering up? All right, so let's let's do it together. So if we started with 10, we can count down nine, eight, seven. Do you think there's seven under here? You ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey! So that's a fun, easy game you guys can all play together at home. And you don't have to use coins. You could use matchbox cars. You could use um, beans. You could use, let's see, what's your ideas? What else could you use? Ooh, maybe you have playing cards. Hmm. Maybe you have some um, action figures and a blanket you could use? I bet you have lots of really cool ideas that are way more interesting than pennies, but pennies are easy too. All right, so let's check what we're doing next. I think I remember first we were gonna play a game. So we've done that, check. Second, 
we're gonna read a story. Are you ready for a story? All right. This story is called, Who Sank the Boat? Who Sank the Boat? Now, some of you have read this story with me before, and I know you're gonna like it. And some of you have not read this story before, and that's okay too. There is a word in this story that we're gonna think about. Ooh, if I can get it here. This word that we're gonna think about is called balance. This word, balance. 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 What do you think of when you hear the word balance? Hmm. Maybe you think about being able to balance your phone on your hand or your devices on your hands. Oh, there's my dog. Hi, dog. Maybe, oops, I'm not balancing it very well, am I? Maybe I have to try something different to balance. Oops, I'm not balancing it very well. What do you think about when you hear the word balance? Tell somebody sitting next to you what you think about when you hear the word balance. Great, let's move along. We're gonna think about balance <laughs> a lot in this book, Who Sank the Boat? by Pamela Allen. I see a donkey and a cow sitting in a boat. Who sank the boat? There's that boat. Right now it looks pretty well balanced because there's nobody in it. Oh man, I do love this picture. There are no words in this picture, but take a good look at what's going on in this picture. What do you see? What do you notice? What do you see? And I zoom out and down a little. What do you notice? What do you see? Beside the sea on Mr. Pepper's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. They were all good friends, and one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Well, do you know who sank the boat? All right, let's see. Oh, oh my. Well, was it the cow who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din? A din is like a big noise or kind of a, a racket. It's making kind of a racket while she's tilting the boat. Did she sink it? Nope. It wasn't the cow who almost fell in. It wasn't her. Do you know who sank the boat? Well, was it the donkey who balanced her weight? Look at, there's our word, balanced. She balanced her weight. She yelled, I'll get in the bow before it's too late. Let's see how she balances out the boat. Oh, see here? Do you see here how the boat is tilted? But then she puts her her hooves on the bow and it straightens it out again. It balances out the boat again. Nice work, donkey. So do you think it was her that sank the boat? 
No, of course not. No, it wasn't the donkey. She balanced her weight. So now it's even again. Do you know who sank the boat? Who could it have been? Oh, well, was it the pig? As fat as butter, who stepped in at the side and she caused a great flutter. Uh-oh, maybe she's the one who sank it. You don't step in the, do you step in the side of the boat? I don't know, but she did cause a great flutter. Oh, it was not the pig as fat as butter. It wasn't, look, it's nice and balanced there. It was not the pig who was as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? Do you know? You do? Was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat so that she could knit? Oh, she likes to knit. So she, she knew where to sit to level the boat. Level is another word like balance. She knew how to level it out. She knew how to balance it out so that she could knit because she didn't want to get her knitting all wet. So I don't know. Do you think it was the sheep? Yeah. No, you're right. It wasn't the sheep. She was very careful. And she knew just where to sit to keep it level and balanced. So do you know who sank the boat? Looks pretty balanced right now. Hmm. Let's see. Was it the little mouse, the last to get in, who was the lightest of all? Could it really be him? You do know who sank the boat. Of course it was that little mouse. Oh, man. All it took was one little hit. And everybody went kerplash. But check out where that mouse landed up. Ended up. Oh, those poor animals. Look how wet they are now. Oh, they don't look very happy, do they? Except for who? Somehow he seems pretty proud of himself. I don't know, that little mouse. And now, do you remember that first picture that we saw at the beginning? with the animals coming out around the side of the house. They were coming out around the side of the house to the boat that was in the water. Well, check it out now. What do you notice? What's different? Sorry, here, I'll hold it more still. That was hard. What do you notice? What do you see? Do you see the boat? <laughs> and the dock going up. And there go the animals over that way. Oh my goodness. Well, as we say in our classroom, colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you soon with another one. And now Miss Day is going to join you for our third activity, which is move. You're going to move your body like a mathematician. And a fourth, she's going to do a math talk with you. Have fun. Here you go. Have fun, Miss Day. Hello, kindergartners and first graders and all our friends watching this video. Thank you so much, teacher, teacher Tina, for reading us Who Sank the Boat. My name is Miss Day, and I'm a preschool teacher at Arbor Heights Elementary. 
And before we get started on our movement activity, I want to let you know on behalf of all your teachers, we miss you. We want to be with you at school and we are still here for you, even if it's from the comfort of your own home. All right, let's get ready to move our bodies and then talk about some math. All right, are we ready to move our bodies? We just read, we learned a game with teacher Tina and we read a book called Who Sank the Boat? Do you know who sank the boat? Well, it wasn't me and it wasn't my new friend here. I have a special costume that I'm gonna wear for our movement activity in honor of all the animals who got into the boat and who were practicing their balancing. And so right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up and find room in your home to stand on one foot. So let's see if you can stand on one foot longer than me, the same amount of time as me. And we'll count from one to 10 on both feet. And then maybe we'll count by tens on both feet. And then if we think we can do it, our balance is good enough, and maybe count by fives. All right, are you ready? All right, let's find a place in your house. Stand up with me, and we'll come over here. And maybe uh, I'll put it up a little bit so you can see my friend, the unicorn. Okay, all right. So you're gonna stand on one foot, maybe we bring your leg up or behind you and hold it, and let's count to 10. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, did you do it with me to 10? All right, let's try the other foot. Okay, remember you can hold it like this, or back, ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you do it? Could you stand on one foot? If not, don't worry, we just keep practicing. All right, let's take one deep breath together, like this. Okay, try it with me, ready? All right, let's stand on one foot again. I'm gonna go this way this time, and let's count by tens to 100. And go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other leg. You lift up your other leg with me. Woo, find the balance. And let's go, counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, let's take another deep breath one time. Ready, go. Okay, now for the bigger challenge to count. Okay, let's do it. Ready? One foot up and five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Jazz hands. I lift my foot up farther so you can see it and the unicorn. All right, let's take a deep breath. Let's lift up our other leg. See if we have the same amount of balance over here and let's count by five. Ready? Go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. You got 
everybody at 100. All right, let's take one more deep breath. And I let you fill in the blanks there. I hope you helped me count by fives. And you know what? I think our balancing was pretty good. I don't think we would have sank the boat, do you? All right, I'll see you next time for our next movement activity. Hello! All right, now it's time to play a fun little game. It's a quick image game. And I have some friends who have joined us to help play this game. We have Monster, you might know some of them, Spider-Man, Bumblebee, and an oldie but a goodie a friend from a long time ago, Furby, has joined us to play the quick image game. Okay, so for you at home, I'm going to show you all an image, a picture of some coins. And I want you to think, how many do you see and how do you see them? Okay, and I'm only going to show it to you for a couple seconds and then I'm going to stop and then you can think about what you saw. If you want to write it down and draw what you saw, you can. And then I'll show it to you again. And then we'll talk about what we, what we discovered. Are you ready to play the game? And Furby and Bumblebee and Spider-Man and Monster, are you ready to play the game? Here it is. Okay, remember, I'm only gonna show you for a second. Hmm. How many coins did I see? Okay. Are you ready to see it again? 